Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Pac-Man board game, so we'll get straight into it. We'll uh, show you the packaging, guys, and then we'll pull it all out and we'll get a closer look. So do let us know in the comments what you think, guys, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. They're nice and detailed front there, guys, and on the back have the uh, instructions. You can see some of the uh, parts and people playing the game. Alright, so uh, quite an old game, guys. It was just uh, 1982, this one was released, just to uh, replicate the um, arcade version first up we've got our board so pretty standard looking top-down view pac-man game we uh, have our pac-mans here which is pretty cool so you got your four players there they can um, chew up the uh, the balls that we're probably going to see shortly we've got a couple of ghosts now as well looks like there's um different colors where the pac-mans might start so whack them over there trying to see what it's going to look like um, we have pac-man here family version of the arcade game so that's pretty cool and underneath guys we've got our trays of balls so you've got four trays a couple of dice to work out what um, they all do we've got um, mostly white uh, seem to have four yellow balls as well. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'll take a read of the instructions off camera and uh, then in the outro we'll, uh, I'll explain how it all plays and uh, it all goes together. So um, do stick around for that guys and uh, that's everything included in the box. So do let us know in the comments what you think and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video. Welcome back guys, so got it all set up and uh, ready to go, so hopefully it's going to make a little bit of sense, taking a read of the rules, basically you set it up like so, you've got your uh, yellow marbles there, they go on the, um, more in the centre of the board, they got a round ring around where they go, so you put them there, and the rest of the board, you uh, put the white marbles in on the, uh, where the holes are. Your ghosts start in the middle, everyone controls the ghosts, so they're not colour matched, so you don't have to worry about that, uh, you keep a tray next to you, depending on which colored Pac-Man you choose. Uh, you've got your starting spaces here on the board as well. Um, so basically, once it's all set up, guys, you wanna roll the dice, the highest roll goes first, then it moves around left from there. So you roll both dice, and then one dice controls the Pac-Man, one dice controls the Ghost. You can choose which, um, which dice you prefer to uh, control what. Your Pac-Man can move in any direction, guys, but it can only go one way. And then the next turn, it can go back the other way. Uh, just can't go back and forth in the same roll. Um, you gotta make sure that your uh, Pac-Man can also fulfill the amount of spaces that was rolled as well. Uh, it can't, um, if it can't go all that way, because you can't um, jump over a Pac-Man um, or jump over a wall sort of thing. So if, if there's another Pac-Man there, then you obviously and you roll a, uh, a six and he's four spaces away then you you can't do that move you got to go another way and then obviously if you can't go another way for some other reason then you got to forfeit your move okay um, when you're moving when you're moving the pac-man you'll go around and you'll collect the, uh, the white marbles so you'll chew them up and then at the end of your your, your turn you'll uh, turn it upside down get the uh, marble and throw it in your tray so you get as many as you can for each of your uh, moves and put them in your tray guys when you're controlling the ghost you control them obviously to uh, attack the other players pac-man you control whichever color ghost you want um, and so can the uh, opponents as well 
So just be careful because um, once you're, uh, you're hit by a ghost, you return back to your starting place and you lose two marbles to the, uh, to the player that uh, used the ghost to attack you. Uh, if you uh, go around and you gobble up one of the uh, yellow marbles, guys, then you can choose to uh, attack a ghost, gobble up a ghost. So you can gobble up the uh, yellow marble, keep it with you, and then when you hit a ghost, you can gobble him up, and then he returns back to the center, and then you choose two marbles to uh, take from any any of your participating players on the field. The game ends, guys, when you, uh, obviously all the uh, marbles are off the table, the white ones. The yellow ones, once you've um, gobbled up a ghost, you put the yellow ones back on the board. So they should always be uh, most yellow um, marbles on the board, because um, once you use them, you put them back, and then another player, or you can uh, pick it back up again. Uh, so yeah, the, the game ends once all the white marbles are off the board, collected, and then you count them all up, and the uh, person with the highest uh, count wins. Uh, you've also got these warp zones here on the edge, got uh, arrows in and out, so you, if you want to warp around the board, you can. So you go out, come back in wherever you like, all four sides, and then exit um, all four sides as well. If you um, still got um, moves to go from your uh, dice roll, once you teleport across the other side of the board, you can keep going as well, guys. So just be aware of that. All right, well, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we're doing the next giveaway. So do subscribe if you're running for that. And we'll catch you next time.